Is this the best longboard bike pack in the world? Let's find out. Is it worth the wait? Oh, what else we got? Free Slick Revolution cleaner for the grip tape. Awesome, another free t-shirt. Thanks very much. And here it is. Has it been worth the almost two year waiting list to get it? Obviously there was lots of delays in shipment because of coronavirus and then it was <laughs> took a wee while to come over in the boat. So it's quite good look, it comes in a, like a travel case. So it's a lot smaller than I thought. It looks just like a laptop bag when you carry it like this. It's got the Slick Revolution logo on the back here. Nice orange. So perfect for your laptop to go in there. The wheels go right there. There's a lot of compartments to it. Alright. You could easily get a couple of laptops in there. More laptops here. Cameras, chargers. So just gonna read the instructions to find out how to attach a long board. Let's try the Slicker Revolution Flexi 2 Carbon to begin with. This is number 8 of limited edition. I think this is done correctly. Actually feels really comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. It's really well padded on the back. I can't feel anything digging into me at all because I've got these foam pads in between the backpack and your actual back. It feels great. So let's see how the onboard carbon GT slash AT fits into it. I've got the all-terrain wheels on at the minute, so let's see if they fit in as well as the Slick Revolution does. 11 kilograms this board is, so it's pretty heavy. It's a good bit longer than um, the Slick Revolution Flexi 2. I think that's it. So we've got an onboard carbon AT board in the back of the backpack now. It's 11 kilograms, but it doesn't even rub against me in any way because there's just really good padding in between the backpack, the board, and me. Plus remember you get this bag to put your bag in. And also a grip tape cleaner. Right, I'm going to do some skating. So I've got the kids board, I've got my board which will do 16 miles, whenever that runs out. I've got the Slick Revolution Flexi 2 Carbon which will do another 12 miles. So let's go. <laughs> So as you can see I had no problems skating through my local park at 25 miles an hour with another skateboard on my back. It was so comfortable I actually forgot it was there and um, there's no problem with the board moving either which may cause you to get speed wobble. It's securely strapped in. There's three straps go around the board and then the bag wraps over itself and then that's zipped over it. If I ever get to go abroad again, this will be the bag that I bring. It has so many compartments in the main bay that you can adjust the Velcro whatever way you want. So it's got little dividers and you get the Velcro and you can rearrange them into super tight compartments for your DSLR cameras, your chargers, all your electronics, laptops. So they're really well packed in the bag. So assuming that you don't fall off and smash everything, then you should be grand just came into my mind if you ever did fall off and you were on a skateboard and you had a skateboard on your back and you had thousands of pounds of electronics in your bag and you had a big big fall uh, it could be quite expensive so probably take care